So, by this time, about all of you watching understand how broken Minecraft on Xbox is. Ever since they released an update back on October 5th aimed at improving performance slightly, the game has been absolutely destroyed by bugs and serious issues. Today I decided to compile a list of the top 10 biggest issues on Minecraft Xbox right now. If you relate to any of these issues or have experienced even more hardships, be sure to leave a comment down below explaining as I read every single comment. But without any further ado, let's get into the list. Issue number one, syncing user data failed. This is a real soul crusher here, which is why I put it first on the list. Basically, this issue happens when a player tries to load up one of their worlds, they will be prompted with a syncing user data screen. While the world is loading, it stays at this screen for a while, you become worried, and eventually they hit you with a failed to sync world data error. And that's why they call it the Soul Crusher error, because, well, there's not a whole lot you can do here. The worlds are there, but you can't load into them. Some may be like, ah, not a big deal, I'm sure this issue hasn't happened to a whole lot of people, I mean, how could Minecraft mess up so bad? Hey, that's a fair train of thought, but you're completely wrong. This is a very common issue and has made so many people's worlds unplayable. And we can only hope that someday this will eventually get fixed. I really hope it can be fixed because this one is terrible. Issue number two. Worlds completely deleted and progress cannot be saved. Oof, that is just as scary as it sounds. This problem is actually worse than our previous one, because when this happens, your worlds are literally gone. At least with the last issue, your worlds will still appear in the game, and in your Minecraft folders, they just won't load. But to the people with our second problem on the list today, well, they loaded up their game after the update, only to be met with nothing. And that's not good. They would go to the play screen and be greeted by absolutely none of their worlds. They were all just gone, vanished, disappeared out of existence. The only positive thing to say here is that this issue didn't happen to a whole bunch of players. The failed to sync user data is way more common, but I tried to help people get their worlds back when they weren't appearing at all at my Discord, and we decided it wasn't possible. There was no longer a trace of their worlds, and this one is actually worse than our first issue on the list. I'm sorry if this has happened to you. Issue number three, the new chat system. Oh my, this is by far the biggest complaint since the October 5th performance update. Remember, this was a performance update we're talking about. Basically since the new version of Minecraft, the chat has been way more clunky and they basically added more steps to what should be the simple process of sending a chat in the game. Let's say you want to type in a command like the slash fill command. You have to pull up the chat, then press on the chat bar, and once the chat bar is up, you better know what you're doing because the tab feature to autofill commands doesn't work anymore. Before, Minecraft would help you by making it so you could just press tab to help finish commands and type quicker, but now you're just on your own, so you better not make any mistakes. Anyway, once you have inputted your command, you then press enter, and then the final step you have to go over and press the send button also, so it's like a double enter there. A process that was once like three steps became about five or six, and it's just way less convenient, but that can sum up the October 5th update pretty well. Less convenient. Issue number four, input delay. I didn't see it in the patch notes, but surprise everyone, input delay was added in the latest update to the game. So what does this mean? Well, what it means is that when you move your analog stick on controller or move your mouse, the time it takes for this input to happen on screen is delayed slightly, but it is definitely enough to notice, and it makes things like PvP, parkour, just playing the game and surviving in general absolutely dreadful. How am I supposed to hit flick shots when the game isn't doing what I want it to without delay? Mojang, this one is definitely fixable, like I needed this fixed yesterday, or just never added in the first place, but remember everyone, it was a performance update. Issue number five, freezing, crashing, and black screens, my three favorite things. This one is pleasant. Yeah, so after I made my videos announcing there was a new update for Minecraft Xbox, I was bombarded with people saying they couldn't even load up the game. When I asked the question why, they responded saying all they could see was either a black or gray screen after pressing on the game. 
and they would sit there for hours waiting for it to load, but get absolutely nothing. This issue is so bad, I remember I got a comment from a viewer saying they weren't able to play the game for 10 days because they would just get a black screen. So imagine you're just like, today I'm gonna play some Minecraft. You try to load the game, but Mojang's like, no, you're not playing today. Here's a solid black screen. There have also been increased reports of people dealing with lag, the game straight up freezing, crashing, yeah. So a slight issue here, and I'm not sure if that person who couldn't play for 10 days was ever able to actually load into their game. I sure hope so. Issue number six, controller not working. So this is a rare occurrence, but I received a few comments from people stating the only button they could press on their controller was the left joystick and no other input would work. So yeah, I don't even know what to say to this one. The October 5th update, I guess, where we made it so only the left joystick works on your controller. Have fun, everyone. This has got to be the worst performance update in history. Rip to the people who have had this issue. I hope it gets sorted out eventually, but I don't really know what to do. Issue number seven, can't install the update. Yeah, so uh, many people have reported that when they try and update to the new version, your Xbox is just like, nope, we're not gonna do that. And the update will literally get frozen and not move. And no matter what you do, the update will make no progress whatsoever. So for some unfortunate souls, they haven't even been able to play the game as a result of it not being able to update. Which honestly might be for the better because at least these people don't have to go through the pain of seeing all their Minecraft worlds corrupted when they load in. It's a sad time we're living in everyone. Issue number eight, slow loading times. So let's say you could at least install the game. You aren't getting any black screens. Well, good luck waiting for stuff to load. Whether it's worlds or just the game itself, I've gotten many reports of people saying loading can take anywhere from about 20 minutes to a couple of hours. So uh, yeah, we all thought GTA loading times were atrocious. Well everyone, welcome to Minecraft Xbox in 2022. And just remember, it was a performance update. Issue number nine, bad support. This doesn't even have to do a lot with the game itself, but the Mojang support throughout this entire ordeal has been terrible. With such reoccurring and big problems, people in my Discord have told me they will give you a very broad copy and pasted answer to help you with your issue. Eventually, they will lead you to an FAQ page which won't fix anything, and to make it worse, the Minecraft Xbox social media accounts haven't even acknowledged the apocalypse they basically unleashed upon their community. I guess some people just like to watch the world burn, and in this case, it is Mojang. Like, I would expect a, we are aware players are experiencing input delay and we're working on a fix, but no, they've given us nothing except destruction, so that's always awesome to see from the devs. Issue number 10, RTX. Where is RTX support on Xbox? They literally marketed their consoles, showing this feature, and three years later, we still don't have it. People have told me they only bought an Xbox Series X because they wanted ray tracing support for shaders, and we still have nothing. This may not relate at all to the current Minecraft update, but I had to slide this in here because it's very frustrating. Legit false advertising. Give us RTX support for Minecraft Xbox, please. We know it's possible. Do something to make up for this awful performance update. Mojang, we're begging. But yeah, those are the top 10 issues I see with Minecraft Xbox today. The whole situation is honestly just depressing. Let me know if you relate to any of these issues down below. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been Smitty. Have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, peace out everyone.